Hi, my name is John Sierra. I'm an engineer here in the City of Riverside Fire Department. Today we're here at Station 7 that's located at 10191 Cypress Avenue. Uh, we're going to be going over Brush 7 today. As an overview, the City of Riverside has two brush units in the city, one at Station 1, which is located in Battalion 1, and one here at Station 7, which is located in Battalion 2. The reason that Brush 7 is located at Station 7 is due to the high potential for wildland fires in the Santa Ana River, the Norco Hills, and La Sierra Hills. Come with me, let me give you a tour of Brush 7. Brush 7 is cross-staffed by Engine 7's crew, but this brush is not only assigned here in the city, it also responds on mutual aid throughout the state. When we respond to a mutual aid, we are responding in a strike team. The strike team consists of a strike team leader and five like units. This apparatus is very useful here in the city of Riverside and throughout the state. One of the benefits of a Type 3 engine is its high ground clearance. This vehicle is also four-wheel drive which can go into areas that other engines, Type 1s, are not able to access. So here we have the engineer seat or the driver operator. Back here is where the two firefighters sit. Here we have the pump panel. This pump is rated at 750 gallons per minute and we carry a total of five 500 gallons that we can utilize before we have it to connect to a fire hydrant or resupply from another water source. This pump is rated not only to fight wildland fires, but we can also utilize it to fight structure fires. These tools allow us to fight wildland fires without utilizing water. We're able to construct line around the fire until we get a water source. We also have hose packs, a total of six on this unit, we, which carry 200 feet of single jacket hose. The reason we carry single jacket hose is because it's lighter and easier to maneuver, maneuver in the wildland setting. In this rear compartment, some of the major equipment that we have is our wildland chainsaw and also our water pump. This compartment here can be utilized to put some of our safety equipment. Since this unit is cross-staffed, whenever we move from our structure engine to our wildland engine, we have to bring our structure gear with us also. That way we can still respond to structure fires and wildland fires. Sometimes during the wildland incidents we're assigned to structure protection, we'll, where we will have to put on our structure protection gear. That is one of the reasons that we carry these self-contained breathing apparatus, so we're ready to respond to structure fires, or they can also be used in special situations during the wildland incident. Last but not least, this is where the company officer sits, or captain. He's in charge of supervising and managing the crew at all times. We'd like to take this time to remind the citizens of Riverside to always maintain proper clearance around their property to keep their home and property safe from wildland fire. Thank you for visiting Station 7.